I feel like people think, oh, it's kind of like sitting around sewing. Quite often we're using 3D printing, we're using all kinds of new textile technologies, we're inventing machines to do things. All my work, all my ideas, everything comes from the script and if it seems right for the character then that's how I approach it. This particular incarnation of Keanu's costume was in the second and third movies primarily. We wanted his character to have evolved from the first movie into the, the subsequent two and he had kind of attained more stature, I think he was more self-confident and so we wanted him to have kind of a slight ecclesiastical feeling mixed in with a Zen Chinese feeling as well. When we made Keanu's costume, he had to be in a lot of situations which were very different. So sometimes he was flying, sometimes he was fighting in a rainstorm. I had to create a costume that could hide the stunt equipment and the harnessing, but also move well in the air. So even though it looks like it's the same costume all the way through, there were three or four different versions of that costume made from different fabrics and treated in different ways. We printed each different fabric to look the same. So we camera tested each different type of fabric so that in the end, hopefully you wouldn't be able to tell. I think that all costumes that become kind of synonymous with a particular movie have a long-term resonance in the subconscious of people. I think that to a certain extent our costume will always be included in that. The costumes that stick in your mind are the ones that the character has inhabited and the character has really come alive in and that's why you remember them. That's the, that's the goal I think.